We've actually been in talks with Cooper. We are going to start. Um, he's asked Brock TV to document all of the BUSAC meetings. Um, so we will be doing video coverage of BUSAC meetings, um, regardless if it's uh, like you said, an exciting meeting or not. Um, we're going to do our best to document them all in video. So if somebody can't make it to a meeting, there will be a video uh, recap of that. Said that it would increase the number of emails. I just said that it's they're not allowing us to do it. It would be an abuse because we're not allowed to distribute surveys. If we're distributing a survey from Fed Up, even opinion poll, then why can't athletics distribute a new survey uh, asking students yeah, why students don't think he's interrupted? Ask multiple times I mean we can take that route for sure uh, but then we lose we run the risk of losing our access to student emails in the first place so we can push this through the pain pool we can learn something we already know that, that students aren't satisfied with food prices on campus uh, or we can wait and do our homework and sit down with the university I know not everyone here is as patient as I mean the executive team are with the university but I would encourage you to just at least give it a couple of weeks I see your point. I do. Um, I, I guess I have a rhetorical question back to you as to say, uh, is this the only way to represent students? To push through referendums and question polls? How many times have you gone to your constituents and asked them what they feel about this? How many times have you gone to your constituents and asked them about any referendum we've had? Or any decision that BUSAC has been made? Or anything that BUSU has done? How many times have you gone to your constituents and asked them how they feel about a, a video ban? The fact, the fact of the matter is, you may have done it in the off chance, but you haven't gone out in the hallway and polled people. There are so many other ways to represent students that we're not doing. My fear of this is, is a snowball effect. The first thing we do is we go through with an opinion question when we're told not to. Uh, then the university says, okay, you shouldn't have done that. You no longer have emails, right? So it, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh, and we've worked very hard this year to create a fantastic dialogue with uh, at least student services on the university side of things. And I think we have a good relationship there. And we've done a lot of great things. Um, the challenge going forward is, are we going to be patient enough to wait for this thing to develop? Or are we going to try and push this through? Uh, and as we've seen, the more we force things forward, the more pushback there's going to be. I would love to bring an answer to you folks and say, uh, raw, raw, we have opinion polls back. I can guarantee you we're not just giving up with this. Uh, not only for fed up, but also for future student groups who want to access this, as well as boost. Things have been done, that's three years after we originally got the online voting. So, I mean, we can push through all we want, but the more you push through and the faster you're trying to do things, oftentimes, the less likely it's going to be. Uh, and I hate to use fed up as a, as a, as a case study for this, but four or five months, um, and we've pushed through it every turn, and we've got roadblocks at every turn. Um, this program, uh, this research started back in June at COCA, at COCA Region, at Amicus. Then emails were sent to local schools who have uh, program limits and uh, Then it was brought to our executive team and our programmer, and then finally brought to Bruce. I, I do see your point, but I don't agree that uh, being the knight on a white horse uh, for a question poll, the minute after we're just told no in a meeting that's informal is the right way to go about it. Uh, I understand that it could be frustrating for you as it is for myself, uh, that this is kind of pulled away from us after we thought it was something we could already do and it was in our rights, but nowhere is it written that it is our rights. Maybe something should be drawn up. students and I'm all for it and there are parts of the uh, FEDUP program that I think will really benefit students. Uh, we sat down in November uh, with M, a 
about uh, the Fed Up program. And he did go to Brock administration and have some preliminary discussions. Uh, when it when the program came to Busac, I did ask because uh, I do work closely with Brock administration. I felt this might might happen. You know, right now the university was saying they were on board with everything, but you can always get. Uh, person or two extra involved they look over the MOU which they did and then they they weren't okay with some of the stuff that the MOU was was uh, was presenting so we sat down collectively fed up <clears throat> Brock executives Brock administration and they went through the MOU and they said you know this can go this is allowed but this can't happen on campus this can't happen on campus and it was a lot of different uh, no's that these these situations could not happen uh, and that the MOU would need to be revised uh, in order to go forward. Um, so we've, we've had discussions back and forth with council. Uh, we've had discussions with Brock administration and they have come forward right now and they said at this time uh, Brock administration would not collect the fee if it would be passed and that also third party they're looking into third parties and, and collecting money for ancillary fees at, at this time. That's their statement, regardless of if council wants more of a statement or they feel like they are owed more.